Hi, boys and girls. So today we are going to do a lily pad. I know that Miss Bobby has been reading books to you about lily pads and frogs. And so we are going to do um, just a cool little um, art activity about lily pads. Um, so maybe you can make a bunch of lily pads um, and do Miss Jen's activity too. So, um, one of the things you'll need to do, maybe with a big person, is go ahead and draw a lily pad. So, really what it is is just a, an oval, which we've talked before about, that an oval is just a squished um, circle. And then you're just going to um, make a, a alligator mouth in it. And then um, with a pair of scissors, um, if you have a little scissors, maybe your big people will um, let you cut it out or maybe your big people will cut it out. Um, maybe you can practice your cutting skills. That'd be great. Um, and then um, you're going to take a, your lily pad and you can hold on to it. Um, obviously you're going to do it on your table and then you can, um, you can use green, but if you want to make it different colors, go ahead. Cause it's your lily pad, whatever color you want to make it, but you can finger paint it. Just make it whatever you want. Of course, finger painting is always fun. We like to smooth it out, right? Always remember to go back and get it. Finger painting is just finger painting, right, friends? Not your whole hand. Don't get really silly on your big people. Mm. And then when it's dry, then you can take a flower, right? So first you have to draw your flower. Maybe you want to color a flower or whatever you want to do. And then you can cut it out, right? Again with your scissors. So you'll have to, you can use glue stick, but for Miss Holly's purpose, she's going to use a piece of tape and I'm going to put my lily pad with its flower on it. And that's what it looks like. So there's your lily pad friends. So like I said, you can make lots of them and maybe when they're all dry, then you can jump on your lily pads for Miss Jen. Okay. All right, guys. Have fun. See you next week.